Hello, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. Let's continue. Holy hell, that's a lot of bodies. I said he would. He set up camp on Molten Hill. There's no good way to get at him. Not with that maelstrom growing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit and wait for us to thin their ranks. There is no time. I will have the chance of direct approach. That's twice today you proposed the impossible. <laughs> see no other choice. Not because your man's a March Hare, son. Uh. I expect an apology on my return. Damn, that was smooth as fuck. Thank you. 
Bye bye. Why? Why did you do this? Because you're a bitch. Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to parley. There was so much to discuss. To explain. You put an end to that now. If you speak true, then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do not think we ask the same question of the British. These things take time. And it would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. For better we hold the strings on another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. And we should live forever on castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. And more will die now because of that. Så har ju gärna det med att tänka om det sätta kvar. Det ni och när jag har tänka om det sätta kvar. How dare you sneak up on me like that? Why don't you just go off there and just help this camp retreat? Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it! General Putnam. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> but it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. My enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists, and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth and me along with it. I must tread carefully. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursue Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake, I still do, but I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. Return these and then your words may have some merit. Yeah, that was pretty dumb to say. Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men. One more salesman than soldier. 
You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could trounce. Connor, this is Benjamin Talmich. His father was one of us, no need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the Commander-in-Chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York. New York City. So what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood, then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job, too, as I understand it. But... I hope to have children someday. It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So, I chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. That's why we're here now. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation, and we can have him arrested. He cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but I have an idea where we can begin the search. There are rumors of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. What are you up to? This isn't money. It's colored paper. You've cheated me for the last time. God! That was a close one, mate.
What the hell? Wow, I barely fucking finished that. <laughs> meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy. I, with him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, well, we were just having a scrap, officer. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Of course not! Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... <sighs> Alright, well I gotta pause it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.